السلام عليكم Welcome everyone to our lesson for today for the first intermediate grade for the second semester of this year our subject as you know is the English language from the book full plus two our lesson for today is to be rain or shine this is the second part so today we have a grammar and pronunciation this whole presentation is prepared and it will be presented to you by Sultan Shahrani so, first of all, thank you very much all of you for being with me. It's a pleasure to be with brilliant students like you. The second thing, I want to make sure that you understand our book is full plus two. It is not super goal, it is full plus two. The third and the most important thing, I want to ask you something. Everyone, are you ready to begin our lesson? Very nice, let's go. At first, today we will learn Number one, present progressive with the affirmative sentence and negative sentence And what do we mean by present progressive? When can we use it? We will take some examples Number two, the pronunciation of N N or N at the end of the word Okay, and also the sound of NG also at the end of the word okay so we will learn how can we pronounce at uh, the n the letter n at the end of the word and how can we pronounce the two letters n and g also at the end of any word we will start with the grammar okay can you see it grammar so as i said before we will talk about present progressive with the affirmative and negative sentence so what does it mean present progressive let's see we use the present progressive for actions that are happening at the moment of speaking okay so they are happening okay the actions they are happening now they are happening now at the moment at this moment for example i am reading now i am reading read with ing reading now okay so let's take another example for example this boy now listen now or at the moment or at this moment my brother isn't watching tv now is not watching he's writing he is studying he is not watching tv now so can you see the sentence my brother is because he's only one with not isn't watch we should add ing so it will be watching watching tv now okay this is negative can you see the negative now let's take another example with the affirmative for example this man at the moment at this moment now he is talking on the phone can you see him now at the moment or at this moment he is he is which is he is he is talking on the phone talk with ing can you see the ing okay so with the present progressive tense we have to add is or maybe are if it's plural okay and ing i n g it's two things that you have to remember also this one can you see this one okay this is is he is he is and talking this is ing okay so we said is if it's singular r if it's plural and i with am we use am if i'm talking about myself okay very nice let's take more examples just to understand so those are affirmative examples and those are negative sentences let's see the affirmative i am playing so this is ing can you see the ing so it is play okay with ing playing you are or you're playing 
He is or he is playing. She is playing. It's playing. We are or we're playing. You are or you're playing. They're playing. Those are affirmative. Am or is or maybe are with ing. With the negative. I am or I'm not playing. So it's the same. I'm playing, but this one with not. I'm not playing. You aren't are not aren't playing so also with this one we have ing and we have am but don't forget not can see it okay you are not or aren't playing he is not or isn't playing she is not or isn't playing it is not or isn't playing we are not playing you aren't playing, they aren't, or they are not playing. So, if you say aren't or are not, it's the same. Isn't or is not, it's the same. Okay? Very nice. So, as we said, those are negative. Note, you have to remember this one. When I say take, okay, and I want to add ing, I should take out the e. Can you see the e? This is the e. Then add ing. With get, we have to add another t. Can you see the other t? This one, okay? We have to add another t. You know why? Because we have t, which is consonant, e, which is vowel, and g, only one consonant. One consonant, one vowel, one consonant. Okay, so again, I'll say it again. If you have at the end, consonant, one consonant. Before that, one vowel, listen, it's one vowel, not two. And before that also, one, not two, one consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant. We have to add another letter just like the last one. Get, getting, get, getting. But this one happened. We should write it like this, happening. This is one N, and this is one N. Why didn't we do it just like this? You know why? Because we have consonant, vowel, and two consonants. And we said one consonant with vowel, and one consonant, we have to add another letter. Okay? Don't forget those, the E and the doubling. Now we have an evaluation complete with the present progressive of the verbs in brackets. So we have to put it in the present progressive, this one. And we said the present progressive is, okay, or maybe am, don't forget am, and are, plus the verb with I and G. Okay, this is the verb, okay, just like play, read, write, eat, speak ask, and so on. Okay, I'll keep this one in front of you. Number one, it snow today. Look at the garden, it's white. Mm, it, should we say is, or maybe am, or are? Is, excellent, it is snow. This is the verb with ing. It should be snowing. It is or it's snowing. That's right. Number two. Harriet not listen to the radio in her room. So Harriet, she's a girl, only one girl. So what should we say? Is, am, um, are. Is. Excellent. What about not listen? Isn't. Listening, that's right. Harriet is not or isn't listening. So you can say is not or maybe isn't. It's up to you. To the radio in her room. She play computer games. She. 
mm, should we say is am or maybe are she is excellent she is what about play play with ing playing playing she is playing or she is playing number three look at the children they have a great time in the snow they is or they am or maybe they are what do you think they are exactly they are have with ing it should be having they are having or they are having a great time in the snow number four sorry I can't help you at the moment. I tidy my room. I is, I am, I are. Mm, what do you think? I am, exactly. I am. What about tidy? Tidying, exactly. I'm or I am tidying my room. Number five, it is very cold today, so we wear our jackets. We are, exactly, we are wear, wearing, excellent. We're wearing or we are wearing our jackets. Excellent, very nice, let's go to the next. Now we have pronunciation. Listen and repeat. What is the difference? What is the difference between A and B? A. Rain. Rain. B. Raining. Raining. What is the difference? Excellent. We have N and G here, which we pronounce just like ng. ng. But this one? N, n, rain, rain, raining, raining. Okay, do you want to listen again? Listen, everyone. Pronunciation A. Listen and repeat. What's the difference between A and B? A. Rain. B. Raining. Very nice. Okay, let's go to the next. B. Listen and tick. Okay, the sound you hear. So we have these one, two, three, four, five, six words. Some of them ending with the sound n, and some of them end with the sound ng. I want you to hear each word. And when you hear the n sound, you will, you will tick. At this column, when you hear the sound ng, just like raining, you will tick at this column, okay? So this is for rain, rain. This is for just like raining, raining, okay? Listen, everyone, listen. B. Listen and tick the sound you hear. Rain. Raining. Snowing. Fun, spring, woman, kitchen, young. Very nice. So let's do them one by one. The first one, snowing, snowing. Is it just like rain or just like raining, snowing? Excellent, raining. Very nice. Snowing, ing, raining, ing. Fun, fun. Very nice. Rain, fun, n, n. Spring, spring. Excellent. Raining, spring, ing, raining, ing the same what about woman woman 
Rain. N. Woman. N. Very nice. Kitchen. Kitchen. Rain. Just like rain. Rain. N. Kitchen. N. Young. Young. Just like raining. Ng. Young. Ng. Excellent. Very nice. Now you know the difference between the n sound at the end of the word and ng sound at the end also of the word. Very nice. So today we learned number one, present progressive. And we saw that with the affirmative sentences and with the negative sentences. Also number two, pronunciation of n and ng at the end of the word so this is the end of our lesson and those are the references that we used for our lesson for today which is full blast 2 student book teacher's guide audio google clip arts for pictures if you want to use them they are beautiful in studying if you need more information and more lessons this is the website the Twitter account, the telephone number for a website or for a national education portal and for Tatweer company for educational services. So as I said before, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you very much all of you for being with me. I hope I see you next time. Goodbye everyone.